always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Congressional Democrats in the White House come together on a bailout package for the U.S. auto industry, but will Senate Republicans whip out their tire irons and start swinging? Also, Michael Schumacher gets an early holiday present from a prince, and it's T-minus four months till the next generation Mercedes E-Class drops. We've got even more images. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. You're checking out Fast Lane Daily. It's daily. Fast. And fast. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D. Always fresh every day. This episode of Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Vaveline's automotive series, Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. House Democrats say they've got a $15 billion bailout plan on the table that could save the U.S. auto industry from the global economic downturn. <laughs> and it's got White House support. That, the Detroit News says, after following a key compromise that could force automakers into bankruptcy if their long-term restructuring plans are in place by March 31st, 2009. The bailout package now waits for a Senate vote, though insiders say getting the support of Senate Republicans could be difficult, with some GOP reps already vowing to block the bill. And that would force a showdown that could make Washington look like the Old West, with Detroit playing the role of Miss Kitty. Nice bustle. Mm -mm. And what do you get for the guy who has everything, including seven Formula One drivers' championships? If the guy is retired F1 champ Michael Schumacher, it's his own private island. That's the little token of appreciation bestowed on Schumacher by Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Got that? Did I say that right? Yeah. Nice. The crowd prince of that glitzy corner of the United Arab Emirates known as Dubai bought Chewy one of a group of man-made islands created to resemble a map of the earth. Schumacher's portion of what's known as the world has been valued at around seven million. Shalopnik reports Schumacher's island will be part of the island cluster known as Antarctica when it's completed sometime in the next several years. All I want to know is where's Jersey? That's where I'm going to visit. Next up, the current model may be the least stolen car in the U.S., but will a new Mercedes sedan bring back the company's rep for highly precise luxury? That's the internet rumor mill, and it is coming up Woo! after this. Frog and I had a bet, I lost, and this is payback. By losing this bet, you've given me an opportunity to teach people about cars using the most tried and true method of all, primal urge. It's all about not being a severe driver. And sometimes we have to remind ourselves. Sensitivity training. Hey JF, there's no shame in taking care of the ones you love, right? Especially when they have adaptive cruise control, xenon headlights, and that little knob that just makes the suspension softer. Taking care of your car is more than a way to save money. It's how you show you care. Maybe not that much. Check out Under the Hood with Brandon the Frog. See how those guys show their love at brandonthefrog.com. All right. And where there's smoke, there's either fire or this guy just got his allowance. Either way, new info about the upcoming new Mercedes E-Class keep trickling out. We've already gave word the company will recast the next generation CLK two-door in E-Class badging. This week, new images of the E-Class sedan are making the digital rounds. Insiders say the shots are official, giving us the first look at how the next gen E-Class will look, at least in the brochure. The shots reveal a new look that'll bring the E-Class visually in line with the company's latest C-Class and S-Class designs. And word is it'll get updated engines, including a gasoline direct injection V6, and of course, a factory tuned version, the E63 AMG, which some say could get up to 550 horsepower, and a hybrid model could show up soon after. Spies also caught what looks to be the convertible versions of the E-Class during early winter testing in Switzerland. The new E-Class vertible will reportedly get a new folding hardtop roof. Pretty cool. We'll see the new E-Class for reals when the new lineup makes it for reals when the new lineup makes its debut at the Geneva Motor Show next March. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for today. I'm Derek D, and special shout out to Static Falconer. You comment all the time with. Double D in the pants. Just wanted to shout you out. Thanks. See you later. <laughs> you know that's me, right? Is it? Yeah. This week on WePC TV. So I think the concept of the album has changed as there are new ways of finding out about new bands. The whole concept of the one hit wonder is almost taken to a crazy extreme. WePC TV is brought to you by Asus and Intel. You dream it, Asus builds it, Intel inside.